Hi there, this is a little tutorial about my selection tools. So within Blender you have all these mesh models that you can make, but sometimes you want to be able to select a certain point somewhere in your model. And with these selection tools you can do that. So you can select an index. An index is a point somewhere in your mesh. So to go over them one by one, uh, first we have the regular index selection where you just select a point within your grid so i link them to the parameters so here you can see i can just select a point somewhere and now in this case i am deleting them um, the next tool is the edge selection with the edge selection you can select the edges uh, that are 90 degrees and you can up the amount that you want to select the uh, up the angle and here you can also invert so you only delete the edges i'm deleting it with uh, the rest of this node group and also as you can see here uh, i have a sub d modifier onto it and also i am um, making it thicker uh, if i to edge select then you see it only selects the edges if i turn it to face select it uh, selects the edges and the next edge so the corner faces and then you can make all kinds of interesting open structures like this one next we have the inside volume select so there are two volumes in this node group and one of the uh, volumes is intersecting with uh, a grid with all these points so here with this node group it notices everything that is inside the volume and then deletes everything that is outside and i linked it here to some dimension so i can move it around and you see that i'm moving the volume through the point cloud and also when i rotate it you can easily make shapes that exist out of all kinds of points or elements by using this tool. Uh, we also have a random select. So the random select, you just uh, take a randomness value and then select random uh, in indices. And you can change the probability of how much you want to select. And there's also a random seed, so you can change the randomness. Next we have a wrap select, which is more like a pattern tool where you can fill and skip. So now it's uh, selecting six and then skipping one. So if we set it to zero, it's selecting six and then skipping one. So in this way you can make all kinds of interesting patterns really quickly. The next tool is the XYZ select and with this tool you can select, that's this little node group, I linked it again to the parameters. You can say which faces the, X, uh, the, the, the no normals of your model. So now I'm selecting the top, uh, the Z axis, we have the Z minus also, that's the bottom, we have the Y the side, the Y minus, and that's how you can select all these uh, these normals. And you can also say that you want more if you have a sphere, for example. You can select uh, the angle that you want to select with the normal, the exact Z, ex exact Y, and then maybe select a little bit more than only the exact Z or Y. So that's the selection, the XYZ selection. We have also a position select and that's the position within the 3d space so here we can see we are selecting everything beyond the this is the middle point everything in the x position that is positive um, we can also drag how much we want to select or move the middle point so in this way you can just turn on and off parts of your model. 
there's also this uh, this way to select that is uh, selecting everything greater than and with that we can also determine how much from the middle we want to select so it's select a width if we turn this one or the x and we can also like select more also if we go to the x we can uh, like drag it to where we want that point to be the middle point so this way you can split your models into uh, different parts or just cut off one end of your model or two ends then we have the direction select which measures the uh, angle and then deletes everything well with this node group after it it deletes the certain angle that you are selecting so here for this example we add direction if i make it smaller for example 10 degrees then we see that it selects this angle minus 45 z0 and within a radius of 10 uh, it selects all the rest of the oh this is a bit too much 20 you see that it selects this I go to 90 or 45 maybe and there's also a mirrored option if I turn that up, that off you see that the bottom is not selected if I now turn it to 90 you see that half of the, sp the sphere disappears so this way you can just uh, pick a certain direction of your edges that you want to remove so if I drag this you see that it's going to rotate around maybe 45 now it's quite heavy because I made these uh, all with uh, real sub-t edges but uh, this way you can see better what ha what's happening so that's the direction select and then we have the random material select like when we have instances it is sometimes difficult to split them into different colors sometimes you want to do it randomly and then you can do it with a random instance node so it just picks random points and gives them a different material and here you can decide how much like if i turn this one off you see i get more yellow ones and with this one i get more blue ones which are determined here pink blue yellow and then i can also mix the two i can also uh, decide a different randomness with a randomness seed and then last we have the index uh, selection but then wrap a wrap so you can fill or skip so here you see two there are two yellow ones and then a red one yellow yellow red yellow yellow red if i do two by two you see it's two 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 three and then you can get all kinds of different uh, patterns again so that's how the selection tools work and it's really useful if you are modeling things and you need to expand or set positions from your uh, indices and uh, do it with the these kind of tools so i hope it's useful for you <laughs>